Hello, people of the world. Been a few days since I've done a video. Hold on. Um, been a few days. But, uh, All right, what did I watch? I watched a uh, Graveyard Shift, which is a Stephen King movie. I've always liked Stephen King movies. They're good. They're always movies that your parents warn you about because they're evil and kind of crazy and kooky and weird. You know, they all. But the thing, there's a certain charm about Stephen King movies that I don't get from other horror movies. And it's just, it has a sense of humor. It always, never fails to have a sense of humor. There's always funny stuff going on. You know, there's always at least one joke. And I really like that about Stephen King movies because they're written well to a point to where I can watch it and I can be, I can say some parts are scary, some parts are really enjoyable, and the scary parts are really enjoyable too. And it plays on your emotions to where you have characters that are likable and they're very they're very human inside they're very they got depth to them to where they have a sense of humor some some of the characters that he puts in his movies that he writes in his books I've never read a Stephen King book all the way through I've read part of The Running Man and that's about it but on to the movie, I guess. The um, Graveyard Shift is uh, one of his older movies. It's from the 80s. It's, uh, it's really good. I, I feel like I need to watch it again. Because there just there's so much stuff in it. And it's just, it's really, sh it's short. Like, it's under two hours. And I'm... I'm totally fine with that. I, I feel like I feel like horror movies sh should be shorter. They should be about the length of a comedy movie, like a, a romantic comedy movie, which is like 90 minutes. You know, a horror movie does not need to be a long movie. It's they're usually not epic movies, and they don't need to be. And that's another. Um, certain charm about horror movies is that is that they don't need to to fit in all this extra bull crap that um, these epic movies do, and uh, the the uh, special effects don't have to be uh, amazing or that visual to your eye. Um, but this has it's an '80s movie. So it does have monsters in it. It has a monster in it. And um, it's pretty dang scary monster, I'd, I'd say. So it's just today, you know, everything is CGI. And it's just, it looks really cool. But I can just, I can never get over the fact that having an actual... Um, monster, you know, actual kind of, kind of looking like a puppet, you know, human mascot monster. It, there's a, just a certain quality and charm to that. that I, I just keep using that word, but I don't know what else to say. It's just, I don't know. It's kind of have it has a nostalgic, nostalgic feeling to it towards it. And it's it's dying out, you know. There's there's no. I mean, there's still the Muppets, and that didn't go over well. But um, 
Well, it's a good movie. It's it's about uh, this guy who moves to another town because he gets a new job, and um, so he has to move from his family, from his wife, and uh, he barely says any words in the movie. The main character does not have a lot of uh, words to say, which is uh, kind of uncommon. For these days I guess it was more common in the 80s though because like Conan the Barbarian doesn't have very many words that he says but yeah it's it's very minuscule in what he says because he's a very quiet person he's a very stoic person that's uh, kind of a private person you know, he's kind of private and his nature and he goes to this uh, factory building to be a cleaning crew, to be part of their uh, cleaning crew. And they become exterminators, and it's not what they signed up for. And I think what happens is they basically don't know what they're dealing with. And... Um, I don't want to spoil it for you though. I mean, they have, and everybody that works with them is just is different. You know, every there are a lot of characters in this movie, and I feel like this movie could have been redone today as a TV series. It has kind of a lost quality to it in that there's so many characters and that there's subplots there's it follows different people around there's there is one main character but it switches around to other people who are like John Hall the main guy he's not in every scene you know and today Today movies, like movies that are made today, you'll follow that uh, that guy around in every single scene, and you know it's not it's not uncommon now to do that, and it's it's kind of hard to write a story where you follow other people around. I've done it before, and it's not easy. But, um, that's a whole different other thing. But I, I enjoyed watching this movie because it was very suspenseful. And it's got good character development. And it's scary. And it's just, it's very, very much a throwback film to the way they used to do horror movies. And to the way that they do them now where it's just so simple and it's not very complex in their writing and it's just I miss that a whole lot because today horror movies are not really based that much on books it seems it seems like they're just throwaway movies that nobody cares about and you know they're made for, on low budgets and just they're just pro away movies that nobody really watches and it's just it's kind of kind of lost its lost its luster and uh, appeal to uh, people who want to go go to the movies I mean, like I barely even see horror movies like in the theaters now there there'll be like one It'll be like one every two months or something. Like Asylum, the, um, oh, was Ouija. Ouija came out. And, you know, but there are, there are more like, uh, horror TV shows coming on now. Like American Horror Story and, yeah, American Horror Story Asylum. And I, I re haven't really been keeping up with that show very much. Um, 
I liked the first season. I just couldn't get into the second season. And I was just kind of like, eh. But, yeah, I mean, horror is not my favorite genre of movie. So, I mean, it's really, I'm more of an action comedy guy. I like more uh, action movies and comedies. But, um, every now and then, you know, I'll just be like, I want to watch a horror movie. And it's like Stephen King movies, they usually get me. You know, they usually get what I want to watch in a horror movie. Because they're just, they're complex. They got a good story to them. They're really interesting. They're different from every horror movie I've ever seen. They're not traditional. And uh, that's what I like about them. They're just, they're actually scary. It's, it's like, just try to imagine yourself in that world that he creates it's scary as as you know what but um yeah it, it was it's a good movie um you should definitely check it out and i've updated my patreon uh page i've got some uh, goals on there and rewards um i'm selling t-shirts through uh, represent.com but um, you can buy a t-shirt for $15 uh, but just go on there to uh, patreon.com slash Jared Lowry it's uh, it's all on there um, you can subscribe to me there you can subscribe to me on uh, YouTube I'm still gonna do these videos but <coughs> If you pledge one dollar, you can get a written review on the Patreon page. So I, I've written some reviews on the Patreon page. Just search for my name. It'll come up. And uh, I've been I've been watching some movies lately. I've I've seen a lot of a lot of good movies actually. So and it's been kind of a down year for movies. But uh, I know, I know what to see though. <laughs> I know what movies to watch. So, uh, if you would like to know what movies to watch, <laughs> just keep watching me. But um, I I've thought about like the other two movies I've seen. I've seen Moana, and I've seen Big Eyes, and they're both really good. They're both really good movies, and uh. I don't think I'm going to do reviews for them. I've done written reviews on the Patreon page. And it's, um, I just, I was at a point in my life where I was just, I was thinking about not, not ever doing these movie reviews again, the video reviews. And you know what? I don't have to review everything on a video. I don't have to do it, so... I'm not um but those are both good movies those are good movies for um younger adults too so um Moana is a really good movie I was um it's really funny too so but um yeah so uh you know Merry Christmas Happy Christmas as I like to say um, uh, go watch some movies. Do it for me. Do it for yourself. Because I know that uh, times are tough right now. And it's the holiday season. And that it can be kind of a depressing season. So movies can make you feel a little bit better about your day so that's gonna be it for me I'm gonna be uh, signing out uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you later bye